Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. You know I'm saying that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. I am excited about this Sunday as I am every day. Let me tell you, simply because, hey, he woke me up this morning. Look, uh, people often say, it's good to see you, Sister Nona. And my response often is, it's good to be seen. So I just thank God for another day's breath in this journey, in this journey. Well, look, friends, in this journey of the CBC radio show, we have got a fantastic program for you today. So much to talk about, so much to talk about. Let me say right off the top, go ahead and mark your calendars because the next Christian Business Connection Evening of Synergy is scheduled for Friday, May 13th, 6 to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. They were so gracious to host our last Evening of Synergy, and they're doing it again. So let me tell you, if you missed the Evening of Synergy in March, here's your opportunity. Mark your calendar Friday, May 13th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League right there on Grandel Square. Now, let me tell you, you can go to my website of the CBC radio show.com and get more information, ticket information, because we're going to do it the same way we did it last time. The advanced tickets are $10 or $20 at the door. You can get your advanced tickets online or you can pay at the door, but you got to be at this next evening of Synergy. Great networking, great food. We also have vendor booths available, a small amount. So if you'd like to advertise your business or your ministry at the evening of Synergy, give me a call, 314 314- 270-2225. That's 314-270-2225. Well, let's get right to our guest on the program today. I'm excited. We have back on the CBC radio show, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. She is a chiropractic physician. And let me tell you, this woman is full of knowledge. So we're going to talk about some great things in the interview. And then she will also be starting an eight-week series on our health living tips so you don't want to miss what great things she has to talk about in this program then we also have on our show today dr gloria johnson who is our cbc author of the month her fantastic book i cried alone you don't want to miss this interview you got to get your copy of the book it is truly uh inspirational it talks about stories really of women who have gone through uh victims of domestic violence and sexual abuse but it's really a tribute to them uh and their stories so you definitely want to be around for that interview with dr gloria johnson and also on the program this morning we have apostle william h bingham pastor ella bingham of perpetual life church you know we're so excited about the upcoming holy convocation and they're going to be sharing the the things that are going to happen and I'm so excited about their speakers and look we're going to have a good time talking with them this morning so you don't want to miss that then we also have our spring cleaning tip that's going to be given by none other than Miss Veronica Williams and let me tell you the spring cleaning tips that she has been talking about are so I mean I thought I knew a lot but obviously I don't know enough so she's going to talk about those spring cleaning tips helping us get everything taken care of in our home and in our business so you don't want to miss everything that's going on on the CBC radio show let me tell you if you would like to be a guest on our program, give me a call at 314-270-2225. If you have a business, if you have a ministry or your organization, or perhaps you have an upcoming event and you'd like to get the word out about it, well, we definitely want to help you. The Lord has truly blessed the CBC radio show and the guests that we have on the program. What can I say? They are simply phenomenal. So just join the team and give us a call at 314 314- 270-2225. Well, friends, I'm going to take a short break. And when I come back, we're going to be talking with Dr. Katrina Thompson-Boundry. Stay with me. I'll be right back. 
Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. The Christian Business Connection is proud to announce that in April, we will be featuring our Author of the Month series, featuring Dr. Gloria Johnson's heartwarming and inspiring book, I Cried Alone. Listen weekly in April as Dr. Johnson talks about this amazing book. Get more info and to get your copy, go to thecbcradioshow.com. Good morning, St. Louis and metropolitan area. This is Pastor Ella Marie Bingham from the Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. I just want to invite you out to the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation, which will be held April 27th through May First, we have many teachers, preachers that's going to come and bring the word of God. We want to see you there. It starts promptly 7 p.m. each night. And guess what? We have daytime classes here starting at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 from all the way from Arkansas, uh, Florida. We're just going to have a good time in the Lord. See you there. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you I'm so excited about our next guest because there are some wonderful things that we are going to learn about the chiropractic. And so this woman of God who's in the studio with me today and is going to be with me for the next two months, she knows all about it. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Morning. I'm happy to be here today. Well, I'm happy to have you here. You know what I'm going to ask you. I, you know, I ask everybody who comes on the show, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day. Even though things might slip up and not go away as planned, this is the day. Yes, it Seize is. Seize the moment, for sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> you know, uh, Dr. Bowdry, you know, one of the things when I first saw you before you came in for the interview, I said how youthful, <laughs> how young you look. And oh. does that have anything to do with your specialty? Would that help in a little bit? That can help give you, especially um, a vibrant motivational, energizing energy. Mm -hmm. It can help you go out of a state of stress and depression by getting your line of uh, your, you know, your spine aligns. So those things can definitely play a part. Well, it's obvious that you you practice what you preach because <laughs> every time I see you, you're bubbly, you're excited, <laughs> you know, and I believe you obviously are walking in your calling and in your passion. Am yes, I right about it? Yes, ma'am. I am truly walking into my calling because I feel like this portion of chiropractic, our minority community don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. And I would like to continue to spread the word about that and let it know it's just not for pain. It's for maintenance care as well. Um, making sure that you keep your body in line and tuned, just like you with your car or just like you do with your teeth or just like with your annual checkups. Chiropractic, your spine is important because you use it every day and it takes care of multiple functions in your body. So why not take advantage of that? When we need to. So that's something very important to us. We're so worried about the physical aspects of things when we really don't focus on internal health and internal health starting with your spine. I agree with that. And, you know, there's this is a special month as um, um, we're celebrating National Minority Health Month. And that covers so many things. So chiropractic, I believe, is right there at the top. Every time I talk to you, I, I, I think about my back and I'm like, <laughs> I have got to get in to see you, you know. But as you said, it's not just about pain. It's about yes. maintenance. Yes. Go ahead. Yes, it is. Just like um with the seasons are changing. Right. Um, we have to make sure our body is equipped for that, not just taking a dose of medication to make sure that we're staying on top of the latest cocktail, mm -hmm. but also <laughs> making sure that your internal health is your immune system is ready for that change. Mm -hmm. Your immune system is building on that change. And mm -hmm. your immune system is like, hey, I can take this challenge of that seasonal pollen that's coming in or that area of allergy, food allergen that's causing you a problem yes. and your immune system can help fight that. So that's the thing about chiropractic. It's a beauty in that. 
It really is. And, you know, we're going to talk about so many different aspects of chiropractic during these next two months. One thing that I'd like to focus in on in this month of April is the allergy season. I mean, folks are going through, you know, so many different symptoms and they're just irritating to mm-hmm. severe, you know. Mm-hmm. And so chiropractic can help. Am I right? You are so so correct with that one. Um, I'm going to do an event called Allergies in April, Migraines in May. And it's going to be a workshop for the minority community to understand how chiropractic play an important role neurologically on asthma and on your nervous system. Also, how can it deal with sinus migraines, sinus headaches, and how can we in tune and get into that area to say, hey, I don't have to take all of these drugs and medicines for a two-year-old up to a hundred-year-old. We don't have to do those things. What can I do naturally to help heal my body and heal itself? And that comes in the form of chiropractic of adjustments, Mm -hmm. getting your body well in tune with each other and doing practice safe techniques at home with your everyday living, eating and incorporating good habits, make it a part of your lifestyle, not just a part of one implement of today. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I think that's so important. And now you say you have a workshop coming up. Tell us about that. When is that going to be? It's going to I'm going to release the date on Facebook oh. and on Instagram. It's going to be for um, people who in the area of the community that mm-hmm. would like to come out to learn about chiropractic. What can chiropractic do for you in this seasonal change? And the name of it is Allergies in April migraines in May (laughs) and what can I do and how can chiropractic help your nervous system function even more and better how can it boost your immune system and what my service can do for you along with the other services that are out there. Yes, and and I think we talked about one aspect of chiropractic that some folks just, for, you know, they just don't think about it, and that is for children. And that's going to go hand in hand on what you're going to talk about with the allergies as well, right? Yes, um, children are affected greatly by the seasonal changes, and it's kind of, it's a you know, it's a give and take situation. It's kind of a give and take situation where, You want your children to live as children, Mm -hmm. live happy, Mm -hmm. and you want to give them all of these things that makes them happy, but at the same time, you want to be preventative. So as far as in cow's milk, that could be a causative um, additive to decreasing their immune system and not building it. Really? So those things play hand in hand with how the child is growing. It can produce more mucus. It can produce more cough and spew them on the body where they're down. We want to give them those cupcakes and redefined sugars and juices, but that keep them down during those seasons when we need to build their immune system. So we have to give a give and take situation where, hey, I'm going to give you all your fruits and veggies, but one, not every day, but at least one day out the week, tell your children that they can have that donut. Um, they can have this juice one time instead of making it. We're having juice or that cow's milk every night. We're building up a non-resistant factor there. We need to build up resistance like, hey, our body is getting ready for this change. Let my um, children's body get in line with each other, with their spinal column. Get their body in tune. Um, a lot of airborne things happen as well, and you want to make sure that overall that they're taken care of. Indeed. Now, that's something new that I learned in general. I suppose that cow's milk tip is for adults as well? Yes, that's for adults as well. Um, cow's milk have no beneficial factor to the human body. It contains pus, um, red blood cells, feces and other things that's in there. So good additive values that contains iron, zinc, calcium will be, for example, coconut's milk or almond milk. You can try those different type of derivatives to help get you to the added value that you need. You know, I'm so much older than you, Dr. Bowdry, and every time you come on, I learn something <laughs> new that I never knew in all these years. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry, and we're specializing in chiropractic medicine. She's a chiropractic physician and Obviously, very wise. It's not just chiropractic. There's right. so many things that go along with that. Yes, oh, my goodness. Is. Now, you're going to be coming on the program 
a little later because you're going to give us our healthy living tips. In fact, you're going to be giving our healthy living tips for the next two months. Yes, I will. And I remember when you were on the show before that, I mean, people were just like waiting. Okay, so <laughs> she's going to talk about this. Okay, she's going to talk about that because every time it was just revelatory. Mm-hmm. It is. It's it's just amazing what um, information and the tools that I can bring to help other people. And I just want to spread that knowledge throughout my community to make sure that they stay informed, but also understand what chiropractic is. It's not just for I'm in a car accident. It's Mm -hmm, not just mm -hmm. for when I'm in pain, but to be preventative about it, to be I'm ready to go. I I feel it before it gets to me. Like, I know it's coming, but, hey, I'm going to be preventative about that. Just like, you know, oh, it's almost time for an oil change. Right. But. I'm going to beat it before that light comes on. Or if that light comes on, I'm going to beat it before it gets too late to say, okay, mm-hmm. now I am, there's no oil and I need right. a new engine. Right. So I don't want you to say, there's no, nothing working in your body. I need a new spine. No, there's no replacement for spine. Right, right. You have one spine and one spine only. You have one body, one body only. And that's where you have to live and feel comfortable at. You only get one chance at this. So yes. I want to make the best out of it. Indeed. Now, give us your contact information. Where are you located? Okay, I'm located at 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. My telephone number is 636-336-8049. And you can reach me um, on email at drtbocairo at gmail.com. You know, I love that because I think we can also get you on Facebook as Dr. Tebow, right? Yes, you can get me on Facebook and Instagram is at the pocket doctor, T-H-E-P-O-C-K-E-T-D-R. Now, I can't let you go past that. Now, why are you called the pocket doctor? That's a tool where you take your phone out and all your information is right there, what you need to sustain your ability of a livelihood. Um, understand what chiropractic is, understand what tips you need to go through throughout the day, or if you're sitting down and it's lunchtime and you pull out your phone, guess what? The pocket doctor is giving you a reminder of what you need to eat. Your, the pocket doctor is giving you a reminder of what you need to do with your posture. The pocket doctor is giving you a daily reminder to say, hey, make this a lifestyle change, not just a temporary change. Right. You're the doctor in my pocket. Yeah. Right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so how can folks sign up for that or, or tell us again how we can get that on a daily basis? Basically, you just download Instagram to your phone uh-huh. and just put me in your notifications to see my notifications or you'll just add me as a friend on there and you'll get the daily things on Wednesday nights or Thursday nights. I have late night knowledge where I give you random facts about knowledge you never heard of before. And, um, it plays a very, very important part in your everyday living and life. And you're like, wow, I didn't even know that happened. Oh, my goodness. You so. know what? There is so much that we're going to be talking about during this next two months. You are a wealth of information. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Indeed, you are. Now, um, one thing I do want to touch on, because I know that um, um, we talked about how chiropractic is for the entire family. I want you to talk about babies real quick. Okay, because I know folks are thinking, what? Chiropractic? No. Touch on that. Babies, toddlers. Would you? You know, it is so important. Um, You will hear chiropractors talk about pregnancy as far as in having um, chiropractors to do manipulations on the pregnant women to keep their body in line. Mm -hmm. But as soon as that baby is born, it's very critical Mm -hmm. because... um, the baby has to pull their head out of the womb, and mm-hmm. that's when their neck is just stretched in un- right. com- you know, uncomfortable circumstances. And sometimes those things, that's their first interaction with coming out to life. And that spinal cord is being stretched. That spinal cord is being maneuvered in different ways that it wasn't maneuvering before. Right. Therefore, chiropractic is very important. It helps with colic problems. It helps with sleeping. It helps with just overall general health of when they have to... Learning how to walk and crawl, Mm -hmm. it helps with those things. Um, And I also give recommendations to my patients of the time frame on when to see their um, infants. Mm -hmm. Um, It's right when they're born. And then another stage will be right at three months because Mm -hmm. they're going through those changes again. And then continuing to go to stages like the first step or when they're getting ready to crawl. All of those things are important to the spinal column because they're controlling so many different things systems of their nervous system, which goes to breathing, which goes to digestion, which goes to sleeping. Right. All of those things play an important, important factor in your health. And that's why it's very important to get kids on the 
bandwagon of chiropractic while they're young mm-hmm. so they can make it a part of their lifestyle when they get older. Kids usually tend to hurt themselves. Sure. And of course, we're for pediatric care. Yes, we yes. work closely with the pediatrician. Yes. But as well, let's work with their spinal column too to help them interact on a daily basis as well. Dr. Brown, I'm just fascinated. We could talk to you for the whole hour <laughs> of the program. I am simply fascinated. We're going to listen to you in the upcoming segments because you're going to give our healthy living tip for yes, today. Ma'am. You yes, promise ma'am. to do that? I promise to do that. Well, one more time, give us all of your contact information. Okay. Uh, my address is 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. My telephone number is 636-336-8049. And you can reach me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry or the Instagram page, which is at the Pocket Doctor, T H E P O C K E T. DR. If you have any questions, personal questions that you would like for me to answer, just shoot me an email or shoot me an Insta message, and I will try my best to get back with you as soon as I can. You, you, you know, uh, audience, you can't see me, but I'm writing down <laughs> at the pocket doctor because I need her in my pocket. That's pretty good. Well, I thank you so much you're for being so a welcome. part of the program. Thank you for having and me. You're just going to be a staple with us in the next two months. That's okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is all right with me. That is all right. All right, Dr. Katrina Thompson. Audrey, thank you so much for being a part of the CBC Radio Show. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. Look forward to that healthy living tip. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Good morning. This is Veronica Williams with Williams International doing business as Essential Clean. This is the spring cleaning tip for today, Sunday. The tip for today is carpet cleaning. A lot of times we have stains on our carpets and we don't have a steam cleaner to get it up. But a tool that everyone has in their household is a steam iron. So for for the cleaning of the carpet, only thing you do is wet, take a wet cloth, a towel, and lay it on the carpet stain. Take your steam iron with water and have it on steam. Place it on top of your tile and actually iron the tile. When you lift the tile and the iron up, you'll see the you'll see the liquid or whatever it was on the towel. You can do that a couple of times until you see it actually removed. This again is Veronica Williams with Williams International doing business as Essential Clean. That was your cleaning tip for Sunday. Our number for contact is 314-323-1877. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we have been so blessed during this month of April to feature our author of the month, who is Dr. Gloria J. Johnson. Now, her book, I Cried Alone, truly is a restoral of hope and healing from above. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Dr. Gloria J. Johnson. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Now, you, you know my, my usual question. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Definitely. Definitely. You rejoicing? Yeah, definitely. And you glad? 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yes. Yes, yes. You know, and, and really just to kind of go behind that, Dr. Johnson, you know, you obviously have a spirit of revival and rejoicing within you as you have passed on to the women who you have been of service to for over 20 years. And and that's where I want to start first before we get to the book on Life Source Consultants. Tell us about it, because that's <laughs> that led to the book. It did. Life Source Consultants was really born out of a desire to minister to Christian women Mm -hmm. that were hurting, that were in a crisis. Mm -hmm. I never knew that I would be starting uh, a program for victims of domestic violence and sexual abuse, less known the first African-American program in the state of Missouri. Yes. My desire was that 
um, in the church that I was in, a lot of times women would come and talk to me about their issues, what they were going through. Mm -hmm. And uh, in working with them and just sharing with them what I believe God had laid on my heart, it led me to a point where um, the Lord directed me to start a support group. Mm -hmm. And I did a weekly support group for over seven years. Mm -hmm. And the ironic thing about the support group was that we met in a church in the neighborhood where I lived in Normandy. The pastor I did not know. And uh, when I first met him, he opened the doors of that church for seven years. Mm -hmm. Every Monday night, he had a deacon that would let us in and did not charge us a penny. Wow. And But what happened was over those years, I began to realize that these women needed more than just a weekly group session. Mm -hmm. And so I was finishing up my degree, my Ph.D. degree in marriage and family counseling, and decided I would open a counseling center, which turned out to be Life Source Consultants and not a counseling center. Yes. You know, it's it's amazing what uh, the, the plans that God has in store for us, isn't it? It is. It's and, awesome. It is, and when you're obedient and you yes. walk in the plan, and you have been, you have been. But, you know, sometimes when you're walking in the plan, you don't really realize it because if you focus on the day to day issues, you wouldn't walk in it. Huh. You would be afraid. No, 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 no that's yeah. a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, I guess that's why he's God. He don't have to tell us everything. That's we just right. got to trust him. We do. You just we just got to trust him. And so your experiences with the women that you've helped over the years led you to I Cried Alone. Tell us about this book. I Cried Alone is really uh, the stories of the lives of many of the women that I've worked with for 20 years. It was a product um, that I was using as I retired. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm in semi-retirement, but it was really supposed to be the culmination of my 20 years of life source consultants and the stories mm -hmm. of many of the women that I worked with. Um, God gave me the title after Life Source was about three years old. So I've been writing the book for years. Yes. And uh, every couple of years, I will pull out the manuscript <laughs> and add something to it and go back and edit it again until I got to my 20 years and realized it was time to publish the book. It was time. You know, um, and as you were just saying that sentence, I really I would end it by saying it was time to publish this masterpiece because having gone through this book, it's so clear to see uh, the love and compassion that you extended and worked with these women because that's what they needed during such a desperate times. Don't you agree? They did. And, you know. I can't take all the credit for it because God has blessed me with such wonderful staff over the past 20 years yes. that would um, take each client and walk with her mm -hmm. through every step that she needed. Mm -hmm. So along with me, God just blessed me with some wonderful women to work alongside of me. Yes. And that's what made Life Source successful. Indeed. You know, last week we spoke with your beautiful granddaughter, Michelle, and she was talking about one of the chapters in your book on teen dating and I'm really really excited to talk about another chapter in your book entitled The Invisible Victims Women Age 50 and Over um, tell us what led to this particular chapter I know you have some some stories in here one of which um, and, and the names that are used in your book are not the real names of um, the individuals but there was one that was very pivotal to you which was the Petersons. Tell us about that. The Petersons was, um, for me, a typical case of an older uh, um, African-American family that came from the South where the woman had been, was in an abusive relationship with her husband and never left. Mm. And basically it was because of the things that she had been taught as she was growing up. And so she had that commitment and um, I met Mrs. Peterson over the telephone. We were on one of the local radio stations a number of years ago, and I would stay about an hour after the broadcast mm -hmm. because we would get calls. Mm -hmm. And she called, and it was about 6 o'clock in the evening, to tell me her story. And she had been married to Mr. Peterson for 50 years, and he had abused her all 50 years. 
But ironically, what happened was her children did not fall into any of the categories that most of children fall into when they are raised in a home where there's uh, violence. And that's either the guys become complacent Mm -hmm. or they become violent. And what the girls do is they become very aggressive or they become passive. Mm. And her children, believe it or not, were actually normal. They did not. They none of this just rubbed off on them. Praise but God. he had been physically abusive for a number of years. And when her 17-year-old son decided to address the issue with his dad and dared him to hit his mom again and threaten his life. And from that point on, he no longer physically abused her, but he did emotionally mm-hmm. and mentally and verbally. And then he had a stroke. Mm-hmm. And most times you would think, okay, If she's going to stay there and take care of him, he's going to feel sorry that he's done all these things. Yes. And the old man did not change. Mm. He just slowed up. He still abused her verbally. He still abused her mentally. But she chose to still stay with him and take care of him. And a lot of times people ask, why don't older women leave and move on with their lives? But, you know, when you build a relationship— 10, 15, 20, 30, whatever number of years, there are a lot of things involved. You've got uh, friends that you have in common. Mm -hmm. The family's all connected. And I I look at myself as a woman that's of senior age, and I think about if I had to start all over by myself, Mm. what would I do? It's scary. Yes. You know, and so Mrs. Peterson had never worked. So, therefore, she would have to look at what kind of work can I do to take care of myself. Sure. You know, unless Mr. Peterson had enough income that the legal system could make him split Mm -hmm. with her. You know, and she look at her friends. What friends can I go around that he's going to be going around? Yes. You know, so you look at so many different issues when you are an older woman. Well, you know, it's very easy for uh, folks to stand on the outside looking at a situation and say, well, why doesn't she leave? Why does, you know, why, you know, why? Are and as you just said, there's so many factors, there's so many things involved, but Life Source Consultants helps women, gives them resources, gives them uh, 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 help in those areas where they thought there would be no help, there'd be no right. way out. Am I right? Right. You are. And that's one of the things we try to provide for uh, women that are 50 and older is that emotional support that they need, uh, connect them up to resources if they need to get a job, um, to connect them up with places they could stay, to try to connect them up also with women their age mm-hmm. so that they can have a network whereby on the days that they feel like they can't make it, they've got somebody they can pick up the phone and call yes. that can be there to encourage them. Yes. You know, so it is scary at that age. You know, I I left home and got married, so I've never lived by myself. And to think that if I was in an abusive situation, I had to go and move by myself, what would I do? Right, right, right. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Dr. Gloria J. Johnson, the author of... Of I cried alone. Dr. Johnson, there are people who are listening right now who may be in an abusive situation or they may know a loved one or a friend, co-worker. Give us all of the contact information for Life Source Consultants, would you? If they're in an abusive situation or if they just want information or if they just want that emotional support, they do not have to leave. They can call our crisis line at 314 314- Five two four zero six eight six, and if there's someone that feels like they want to get involved and help other victims, they can call our office line at three one four. Five two four four one three zero, and that will put them in touch with myself or another staff person, whereby they can get involved and volunteer to help other women in a number of ways. But if they're in a crisis, we're there to help them. Yes. And I'm glad you mentioned that because volunteers are always needed. There are so many facets of what you do and what your staff does. And there's always somebody in need, isn't it? There is. And not only just at the office, a lot of times 
we're invited to community fairs Mm -hmm. where they want us to have a resource table Mm -hmm. to provide information. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking for volunteers that like to talk to people to come and help us do that. Sure. Dr. Johnson, are you available to go into organizations or churches and perhaps do a workshop or talk about the importance of uh, having resources and a woman knowing that there is hope? Are you available to do that type of thing? Yes, I am. And we have a number of churches in St. Louis whereby uh, they have our resource information Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everything so that uh, if they have women in their congregation Mm -hmm. that they need to refer, they do. We do workshops not only for women groups, but we do workshops for ministers to help them understand how to minister to a family where family violence is involved. Oh, that's excellent. That is wonderful because sometimes there are subjects that, you know, they, they're they not versed in. You know, you want to help, but there really is a way to be trained. That is great. Give us your contact information one more time, Dr. Johnson. Okay, to contact me uh, or just our office is area code 314 524 Four one three zero. If you're in a crisis, our crisis line is three one four five two four zero six eight six. Now, also, look, they've got to get a copy of this book, and I want to tell folks that it is. I'm going to use the term. It's an easy read in that it flows. The pages flow. It's very easy. It's it's challenging because you it brings out the compassion in anyone who reads this book for the things that these women have gone through. But how can folks get this book? I would suggest that if you have book clubs that are listening right now, if you have things of that nature, if you have domestic violence groups, uh, this is a book to get. So how can they get copies, Dr. Johnson? The quickest way to get a copy is to call our office, and uh, we can get them to you. And right now, they're only $10. Ooh, okay. And so we can get them to you. If you call our office at 314-524-4130, then our office will uh, make sure that you get whatever number of copies that you need. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, send a, send me an email at Gloria Johnson, Ph.D., Gloria Johnson, Ph.D. at Yahoo.com. And uh, I can send you an order blank, an order form, and uh, we can transact business that way. Wonderful. And, you know, I'm blessed because I have an autographed copy. uh, And uh, so, you know, I have something that, uh, you know, this may be worth uh, quite a bit in the years to come. What do you think, Dr. Johnson? I would love that. (laughs) (laughs) It would be a good legacy to leave. Indeed. Well, you know what? I'm I'm glad you said that, woman of God, because uh, your legacy has already been written uh, for what you've done to help the women that you've helped in over 20 years of service. And then also this book, which I understand is there's more coming. You've got you've got some more in you in these books. And so we just thank God. And is there anything else that you'd like to say today in closing? You know, the one thing I would like to say, if you're listening and you are a victim of abuse, God did not create you to be abused. God created you as a unique individual that he loves and cares about. So give us a call at 314-524-0686. Wonderful. Dr. Gloria J. Johnson, thank you for being on the program, the CBC author of the month of I Cried Alone. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. The Christian Business Connection is proud to announce that in April, we will be featuring our Author of the Month series, featuring Dr. Gloria Johnson's heartwarming and inspiring book, I Cry Alone. Listen weekly in April as Dr. Johnson talks about this amazing book. Get more info and to get your copy, go to thecbcradioshow.com.
Good morning, St. Louis and metropolitan area. This is Pastor Ella Marie Bingham from the Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. I just want to invite you out to the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation, which will be held April 27th through May First, we have many teachers, preachers that's going to come and bring the word of God. We want to see you there. It starts promptly 7 p.m. each night. And guess what? We have daytime classes here starting at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 from all the way from Arkansas, uh, Florida. We're just going to have a good time in the Lord. See you there. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I'm so excited about this program because we have in the studio with us Apostle William Bingham, Pastor Ella Bingham, and Bishop J.C. Bingham all the way talking to us from Sanford, Florida. And friends, we are going to talk this morning about the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation on April 27th through May 1st at Perpetual Life Church, located at 1400 Park Avenue right here in St. Louis. So I want to get right to it. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. morning, Evangelist Good morning. Thomas. Good morning. Well, you know what, uh, Bishop Bingham, uh, Apostle Bingham and Pastor Bingham already know the question I'm going to ask, but I didn't prep you on this question, so I'm going to give it to you this morning. Is that all right? That's fine. That's fine. I think you can handle it. And the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely wonderful. You know, uh, when I woke up this morning, I woke up with praise on my lips. Oh, God is so good. He is so good, and I'm just excited about this holy convocation. Praise God. Uh, we are, we have too many church folks now who are stuck in a mindset, and uh, God is, 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 is calling us now to move away and to move our people away from that mindset. Mm-hmm. Hosea 4 and 6 say, our people are destroyed. My people, he said, mm-hmm. are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Praise God. And it, uh, I am so excited about Apostle Bingham and Pastor Elmer Bingham that uh, God put this holy, com- this holy complication on their hearts. And uh, we're, 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 we're expecting great things from, um, from St. Louis and uh, the speakers. I, I, I saw some of the guests, and man, I tell you, there's going to be a power. There's a power of speakers there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know, I tell you, Apostle Bingham, we're just so excited. We are counting down the days to the Holy Convocation. And I just want you to touch on this, if you would, Apostle Bingham, on how the Lord gave you the vision for this Holy Convocation. About two years ago, Evangelist, we were we were listening to Apostle Harden teaching on Kingdom Minds, your thinking. And when he began to teach that, that thing began to resonate in my spirit. And about another three or four years, I played with that. And then one one time I was in the church praying, and God gave me kingdom-minded for kingdom living. And that thing began to resonate in my spirit. And for the last seven years, we've been doing the kingdom-minded for kingdom living conference in St. Louis. And, you know, it really is uh, for a time such as this. It is now. Our, the, our thinking, uh, we're kingdom citizens. Am I right, right about that, right. Pastor Bingham? And we have to get our mind and our thinking ready for the kingdom. That's right. Listen, we are in the end time season. And as I first stated, we are kingdom citizens. And if you need getting ready and uh, to be a kingdom citizen, then you need to have a kingdom mind and a mindset to get ready ready for the kingdom living. And uh, Evangelist Nona and Apostle Bingham and Bishop Bingham, I'm just so happy today that God have put it on Apostle uh, Bingham's heart to 
tell us, he read to the church about the Holy Convocation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not a denomination. It's a calling of God's people to convene at such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that he's getting his people ready in this end time to go out and to bring souls in to get God, uh, get the Lord's people ready for his return because the Lord is on his way back. And what Amen. I'm excited about, uh, Bishop Bingham, is that we are concerned about souls, yes. people being delivered, saved, and set free in this end time and getting them ready for the kingdom. That's right. Mm. You, you know, uh, Bishop Bingham, as the president and founder of Glad Tidings Bible College, uh, you know, as a teacher, this is right up your alley, spreading the news about Jesus. Am I right? <laughs> Man, you know, the Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Too many years, too many years now, our people have been lost uh, uh, and been preached at and not uh, taught. So it, it, it's time out now for a lot of this preaching and 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 preaching at people and mm -hmm. and and just let them know that this is about the kingdom and kingdom living. If we want to do better, we got to have the mind of Christ Amen. because the thoughts that we think are the thoughts that create our future. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 You didn't, you didn't got us excited up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you're going to be speaking uh, Bishop Bingham on Thursday night at the 7 p.m. service. Uh, can you give us a small nugget? Now, you can't Tell us everything, okay? Because we wanna we wanna get it fresh from you, okay? But can you give us a little nugget on what uh, the what? Lord has given you? Well, we, 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 we're going to be actually talking about the kingdom, the kingdom minded, and, mm -hmm. and, and moving people from point A to point B. Too long we've been, we've been, we've been at the, we've been at, uh, 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 at the uh, Red Sea, staring at the Red Sea. It's time to stretch out that rock. <laughs> That's now. right. And, you know, God wants us on the other side, and he don't want us to stop there. You know, we got the, we got the Sinai Desert. We got to cross that. And, but right now we're at the Jordan, ready to go over into the promised land. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm just, look, I... <laughs> I'm doing a jig over here right now. What you say? What you say? <laughs> Apostle Bingham, you know, uh, uh, just in case our listeners might wonder, well, they got the same last name. Would, would Bishop Bingham be any relationship to you? Uh, yes, that's Big Brother. That's Amen. Big brother. That's Big All Brother. Right. Amen. That's Big Brother. Amen. <laughs> hey, Big Brother, how you doing down there in, in, I'm doing in Sanford, fine. Florida? I just want to say one other thing. I'm not to all my students, past and present students, We'll be in St. Louis, praise God. We're expecting to see you at, at not only on Thursday night, but we want you there every night Amen. because there is a, 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 a feast being served Wednesday through Sunday. Amen. And uh, praise God. So uh, come on out and enjoy, and, and just we're going to uplift and praise God. And, and uh, if I tell you something, if you all never seen uh, uh, Pastor Ella Bingham uh, get happy, come on out. Come on out, because I tell you, when the word starts flowing, the spirit gets to move in her legs. I tell you, good God Almighty, come on out. And, and not just that, too, uh, uh, Bishop, but when the Lord, I tell you, her voice, she's so anointed to sing and just sing oh, praises God, unto God. Oh, my God, I can't wait to hear it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle William Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham and Bishop J.C. Bingham of Perpetual. Okay. Pardon me, I, I, I just run into some noise here. Okay. No way. Okay. Well, that's all right, Bishop. I messed up. So we, I'm going to start over on what I was getting ready to say. So to my listeners, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle William Bingham, Pastor Ella Bingham, and Bishop J.C. Bingham. We're talking about the upcoming Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation on April 27th through May 1st at Perpetual Life Church located at 1400 Park 
Avenue. Now, that whole time is going to be so special. We're just about out of time, Apostle Bingham. Can you close us out with some words that you need St. Louis to know about this holy convocation? St. Louis, I want to say this to you. If you miss this, you're going to miss a great teaching time where the Spirit of the Lord is going to give us revelation, knowledge of His His Word. And we're living in a season now where the church, as well as the entire body of Christ, is under a spiritual attack by the enemy. And so as the enemy has escalated his attack upon the church, we as the believers, the men and women of God, we need to escalate our thinking. As Apostle said, we need to kingdomize our thinking and get ready for kingdom living. And I want to say to all of our listeners, evangelists, Thomas, that that word holy convocation, don't let it scare you. As Pastor stated, it just means calling God's people together to hear a rhema word from him is what he's getting ready to do in these end times. Amen. That's it. I'm telling you, friends, I definitely endorse it. I was there last year. It was a great revelation to me on everything that was spoken. The speakers were anointed. The Holy Spirit was there. So I'm looking forward to further being kingdom-minded <laughs> or kingdom-living. <laughs> I want to tell you, Bishop J.C. Bingham, we thank you for taking the time all the way in Florida to talk with us this morning. Thank you so much, sir. It's been my pleasure. God bless you. All right, and thank you so much, Apostle Bingham, Pastor Bingham. We're going to have you back on next week because that'll be just days before the end of the month, getting ready for the convocation. Y'all promise to come back? Yes. Yes, yes, All right. yes. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right, well, thank you so much for being a part of the CBC radio show, and we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Welcome to Dr. Tebow's Healthy Living Tips for allergies in April, migraines in May. The first healthy living tip we're going to discuss today is about coughing. Coughing is normal, but with weather changes, your coughing can become an unbearable problem. Coughing is a form of respiratory defense system for your body. So what can you do to help your cough during seasons of changes? Well, I have some tips for you today. Number one, drink plenty of water. Drinking water helps reduce the amount of mucus secretion your body is taking on. You must drink plenty of water every two waking hours. Put the redefined sugary drinks down and drink water. Number two, avoid dairy products. This definitely decreases your immune response and causes more coughing to continue. So take that milk, cheese, and other dairy products out of your consumption. Number three, bromelain. This is a natural anti-inflammatory that enhances the effectiveness of antibiotics. You should definitely incorporate this within your daily usage. And number four, chiropractic. Chiropractic works wonders in the area of your spinal column. With chiropractic draining techniques, going hand-in-hand with adjustments, procedures, use this a powerful tool in results. Adjustments improve your impact on life. It rocks. So remember, chiropractic does wonders, and you should try it. The seasons are changing, and so are you. So make sure your spine is properly aligned, too. Don't forget, you can text me or call me at 636 336-8049. Dr. Tebow is the one for you. Check me out. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Good morning, St. Louis and metropolitan area. This is Pastor Ella Marie Bingham from the Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. I just want to invite you out to the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation, which will be held April 27th through May First, we have many teachers, preachers that's going to come and bring the word of God. We want to see you there. It starts 
promptly 7 p.m. each night. And guess what? We have daytime classes here starting at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 from all the way from Arkansas, uh, Florida. We're just going to have a good time in the Lord. See you there. The Christian Business Connection is proud to announce that in April we will be featuring our Author of the Month series featuring Dr. Gloria Johnson's heartwarming and inspiring book, I Cry Alone. Listen weekly in April as Dr. Johnson talks about this amazing book. Get more info and to get your copy, go to the CBC Radio Show.com. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. Haven't our guests just been delightful today? I just thank God for the people that he brings to the CBC radio show because he is doing some great, great things in their lives. You know, Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry, uh, our chiropractic physician who has also given us our healthy living tips, uh, she is just wonderful. I really encourage you all to give her a call because chiropractic is not only only for adults but as you heard her in the interview it is for the entire family for babies and toddlers so I encourage you to give Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry a call so I encourage you to give Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry a call at 636-336-8049 and then of course thank you so much to Dr. Gloria Johnson who is our CBC author of the month her book I Cried Alone truly is a celebration of hope. Now, you can give Dr. Johnson a call at 314-524-4130 to get a copy of that book. That's 314-524-4130. I cried alone. And then thank you so much, Apostle William H. Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham. We are looking forward to the Holy Convocation. What a joy it was to have you on the program along with Bishop Bingham. You know, uh, there's a great thing that is going on at Perpetual Life Church, and I pray that the city of St. Louis come out and support the Holy Convocation. And then, of course, thank you so much for our spring cleaning tip. Miss Veronica Williams, what a blessing. All the new things we're learning, all the new things we're learning about spring cleaning. Oh my goodness, it was great, great, great. You can get information about all of our guests by going to the website of the CBC Radio Show.com. Now, if you would like to be a guest on the CBC radio show, give us a call at 314-270-2225. You know, I also ask my listeners to go to the website so that you can go to the contact us link and send me all of your contact information. We want to make sure that you are in the CBC database so you don't miss any of our exciting events, any of our ministry events, because I'm telling you, God is doing some great things. We've got some announcements coming up in the next few weeks that we. I'm just going to give God the glory for ahead of time. How about that? Anybody ever praise God ahead of time? You know it's coming. You know it's great. And you just start praising him right now. Okay. You don't wait until the battle is over. You start praising now? Well, I tell you, let's start praising God now for all that he is doing in our lives. And you know, I want to also say thank you to my listeners on the internet. You all are a blessing. Thank you for listening all across the world. And then also, I want to do something that I don't know if I've ever done on the show. And I want to thank my producer for the CBC radio show. You know, Mr. Alex, I always tell him he is the man. You don't know the background. It goes into putting a show like this together. But let me tell you, it's extensive. But he is professional. He knows his job. So I want to say thank you, Mr. Alex, to all that you do for the CBC radio show. All right, friends, thank you for listening today. To God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.